Hey, this is Professor Triplett, and we're going to look at the twist deformer now. So I used a box in this one instead of a cylinder because the cylinder doesn't show the twist as well. I'm going to go ahead and just put that twist on there. And I'm going to go to my channel box, and let's go ahead and play with the start angle, which is the bottom. And then the end angle, we can twist some more. And this is a deformer that's really good for if you need to make like, you know, screws or certain things that, you know, like a helix, like a double helix or something that's got to spin around, maybe rope or something like that. Uh, you want to be able to make certain things in a linear fashion and then twist it afterwards. Otherwise, it'd be very, very hard to model something like this. Uh, low bound and high bound work like they do in other deformers. You know, you just can, you can manipulate. It actually looks kind of neat. Um, and of course the envelope being at one means it's fully weighted to the object. So, um, that's it for twist, uh, and let's go ahead and get into wave next.